Doug, they do over 200 performances a year, and they travel extensively, and they represent the Calgary Stampede so well. the official mascot of the Calgary Stampede. He's got it right. Yahoo! And he's also warm. He is very warm. You know who's warm. enjoying this weather? I know those kids in the Calgary Stampede show band really enjoying it because in those uniforms, marching for two hours straight, when it's hot, they are dripping by the end of it. And there's nothing worse than being a mascot in one of those outfits when it's 25 degrees. That's so true. They're enjoying it now. Now we're taking a look at the Calgary Stampede show riders. They are a dynamic group of young equestrians with their own unique Western flair. They're all between 14 and 21 years old, and the program is designed to foster youth development within the equestrian community. All right, Amber Marshall, there's a shot of our parade marshal. Hello, Amber. Hi, Amber. Angela, how are you guys? So nice to see you. I remember 2008, you were actually <laughs> down on the parade route after the first season of Heartland alongside me, and here you are, the parade marshal. What's it like oh. to be in front this time? You know what, this is absolutely a dream come true, and the rain stopped so it didn't rain on my parade. <laughs> <laughs> you look really comfortable, Amber. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's going to be a great day. So we're seeing some shots here right now in Heartland alongside Graham Wardle, who's on the street with us again this year, plays your husband on uh, Heartland. So uh, talk about coming full circle for you. And of course, you love this Western culture. You're a woman of the West. So what's it like to represent today? Oh, it's absolutely unbelievable. This is, this is just a dream come true for me. I think every young girl dreams of riding a horse in a parade, and this is the Calgary Stampede Parade, which, biggest parade in Canada, this is absolutely an honor. And, you know, coming out to Alberta 13 years ago now for the show, this is just amazing. I, I, I can't believe it. It's, it's amazing to be a part of it. And Amber, you you are uh, just getting into season 13, so congratulations for being renewed. Thank you so much. Enjoy the parade. Thank you, you as well. There's lots of great floats here today. That's our parade marshal, Amber Marshall. I'm not going to say it again, even Thank though I you, want Doug. to say it. Don't say Marshall is the marshal. <laughs> I let you say it that time. All right, we're done with that shtick. We're moving on now to the rest of the parade. <laughs> Up next, we have the honorary parade marshal. This is the Brigadier General, Stephen Lacroix, and that is the mayor of Calgary, Mayor Nahed Nenshi. Good to see Mayor Nenshi on a horse. Wouldn't miss it for the world, the Calgary Stampede. This is the biggest party you'll ever be to. Uh, you can check out the grounds. Uh, I know they did all of the they did the judging of the food. Are you going to have the pickle inside the Oreo inside the, I, I may just be making that up, or but it's one of the- Or the scorpion on the pizza, you <laughs> never know. <laughs> There's something for everyone, and then some. Best seat in the parade. Now, this is an awesome entry. It's done by the parade committee, the Stampede Parade Committee. Everyone on that float has made a donation to charity in order to be on the float, and they've raised several hundred thousand dollars over the last few years for local charities, so good on them. And that's the Cardston Trolley Company, of course, and uh, Cardston, located in southern Alberta, and that is a great seat in the parade. They're undercover, but fortunately, they don't need it so far. It's looking pretty good as far as the weather is concerned. Uh, you spoke to our colleague, Vicki Chase, who gave us the weather update. That's right. She says the system, we're on the back end of it, so it's clearing, and we have seen the rain stop, so that's fantastic. I hope they warn these folks. That antique wagon is fantastic, but those seats are a little hard. <laughs> they like to warn them to bring a pillow, because right. it is two and a half hours along the parade route, Doug, so long time to sit. And some of the charities represented this year, the Foothills Academy, Hospice Calgary, the Stardale Women's Group, Meals on Wheels, Easter Seals Camp Horizon Stars, and the Children's Hospital Charities.
here comes the Calgary Exhibition and Stampede Float. I do believe is uh, Wes Robinson on there as well, Volunteer of the Year, 13 years. You see the Cowboys up there. That's as close as I would get to getting on one if I had one of those bulls. Perfect form. Looks pretty relaxed, actually. I love the mini Ferris wheel in the background. And of course, all of the uh, folks on the Calgary Stampede Exhibition and Stampede, so many volunteers involved in this event. There are several thousand dugs just to run the Calgary Stampede alone and over a hundred members of the parade committee who are all volunteer who put this whole thing together. And you know what, I've been uh, doing this uh, parade 25 years, I've been down at the grounds covering the rodeo and the chuck wagons, and I'm amazed, uh, you know, it rarely ra rains, as you mentioned, on the Calgary Stampede right. Parade, but I've been down there on the grounds in some pretty nasty conditions over the years, and those volunteers, they are out there day in, day out, with a big smile on their face and uh, going above and beyond for the city of Calgary, many of them taking their vacations to be part of this. Absolutely. All right, I think this is one of our first international bands. This is the Fan Fevenzug Geis Ensemble joining the parade all the way from Germany. It's a Grace Ensemble joining the parade all the way from Germany. We're going to have several more international bands, 17 more bands to come, all the floats and color of the Calgary Stampede Parade. Angelo, that group was originally founded as a school band in East Germany in 1964. They were almost disbanded in the 1990s due to political upheaval, but were rebuilt at the turn of the century as a non-profit outfit. And here they are in the Calgary Stampede. We're so happy to have them here competing this year. Oh, there is Rocco oh, Romano. the Grey Cup. The Grey Cup has arrived. Rocco Romano, of course, one of the fabulous uh, Calgary Stampede alumni holding the Grey Cup. The game will be held here in November. There's Rocco he holding looks it high. Happy. Actually, if they have this kind of weather in November, they'll be very excited. They will be. This is perfect weather for football, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it would be fabulous for the last week in November for sure. Calgary Sports and Entertainment Group. Rocco Romano leading the way. Who's an offensive lineman for the Calgary Stampeders. Great representative in the community over the years as well. Got the Outriders, uh, the cheerleaders. There are members oh, the Roughnecks. of Calgary Roughnecks, 2019 National Lacrosse League Look champions. There they are showing off the trophy. Several members of the team. Of course, they are spread out all over the country, most of them in Western Canada, and they fly in and out for the games. And so they, a bunch of them decided to come and participate in the Calgary Stampede Parade. It's great to have them here today. Looking good in their jerseys. Calgary Flames. Calgary Flames uh, represented uh, by Matthew Kachuk, who is a restricted free agent, but apparently all is good if he's in the parade. Let's hope <laughs> That's he gets a, a contract sign. signed. <laughs> so now we've got the Whitefish Winter Carnival. Alberta's border neighbor to the south is the state of Montana, and that's home to the Whitefish Winter Carnival. It's the second oldest winter carnival in the United States. And welcome back to the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. There is a shot from the top of the Calgary Tower. If you have vertigo, we apologize. <laughs> it's a great shot, though. And now we've got the Calgary Stampede Roundup Band clad in their iconic blue, black, and white uniforms, which they're known for. This is one of Canada's oldest junior marching bands. They were formed in 1956 by Calgary Police Services, uh, and then they've been entertaining audiences from Europe to Australia and throughout North America, and they are inspired by the pursuit of excellence, self-discipline, of course, fun. We have to have fun thrown in there. Generations of community youth have shared their musical talents and seen the world, and now 63 years later, the 
band continues to provide youth from across Calgary and surrounding areas with opportunities. Let's take a listen. the Calgary Roundup Band, 63 years young and doing a fantastic job at the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. Here's a look at uh, some of the crowd. If oh, you're waving. watching us on cbcsports.ca, cbc.ca slash Calgary, and CBC Gem, uh, all of these kids getting an opportunity to participate, some of them for the very first time. Do you remember your first Calgary Stampede Parade, Angela? Oh, my gosh. It's been a while now, but I do. It was fantastic, and it's always as exciting every year to be here. So they estimate uh, that on a really beautiful summer's day, the crowd could be up to 300,000. Easily. As I look out of our broadcast location here, just across from the stamp the Calgary Tower, um, you know, all of these bleachers are full now. I, I see people as far as the eye can see. They may have delayed their arrival. But they're here. But it's worth it because it's now drying. Those, these kids are all bundled smiling. up. They're smiling. Sure, Everybody's why would smiling. they? And of course, we have uh, Girl Guide cookies up here in the booth, too. Yes, How indeed. How did these get here? The Girl Guide cookies came along, and actually, she has a really good arm. She she uh, <laughs> threw those cookies up to me <laughs> and said, hey, don't forget to mention the Girl Guides are here. And they actually have a number of girls who've traveled from Vancouver to wow. be here with the guides, and they're going to be marching in the parade as well. Well worth it. A lot of coffee being served. Yeah. So we saw the Calgary Roundup Band, Angela, and early, of course, uh, we saw the band from Germany, the Calgary Stampede Show Band, and uh, here we are in July, first week of July, but they warm up for this parade. They do. On Canada Day weekend. They get ready. And more, Banff, I mean, so this, I mean, they go from town to town warming up on Canada Day, so they should be in great shape for this uh, two hours. I think they're hours. gonna be in fine form. <laughs> I'm standing here with Chris Earl, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what, how important it is for you to be here and all your friends. Well, uh, you know, we're here representing the Canadian Armed Forces. Happy to be back in Calgary. Um, really happy to be here with all our friends in, in the Calgary Stampede. And how's it been going so far? It's been going great. The hospitality is unbelievable in this city, and it's great to be home. Awesome. And are you keeping warm? We're certainly trying. We're certainly trying. But this is a lot better than being at sea in a submarine in really bad weather, for sure. 
Awesome. Okay, here we go for the rest of the Stampede Parade. Thanks, Graham. And there's a look at the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Honor Guard, Marching Troop, Band, and Veterans Association. of all from the Northwest Mounted Police Veterans Association, which was created in 1876 here in Calgary. I bet you they're happy the rain stopped. There's nothing worse than wet wool, Doug, those kilts <laughs> <laughs> for two hours down the route. Yeah, 12 veterans are riding in the Brewster Transportation Historic Bus, old white as well. And you know, the person with the biggest smile on the bus today is Calgary resident Doreen Clausen, who is the great, great granddaughter of Constable John Stutterford of Cornwall, England, who joined the newly created Northwest Mounted Police in 1874 and marched west to bring stability to Canada's west. It's good to have her here. All right, let's go back down to Graham Mortal, who's standing by with a special guest. I'm here with Wild West Willie, and Doug here is riding him. Hey, Doug, how old is Wild West Willie? Willie is 17 years old. Willie is a crossbred Brahma steer. He's Holstein Angus Brahma. We've had him for 15 years, uh, 14th parade. We've had a blast coming down here, and everybody treats us real good. Awesome, thanks for being here, Doug. And this is Wild West Willie. Look at this guy, he's huge. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank Gra you. Graham, that's as close as I would get to Wild West Willie, although, you know, really synonymous with the Calgary Stampede. Mentioned he's uh, 18 years old, 14th time at the Calgary Stampede. Have you ever been on Wild West Willie? I have not. That is 2,800 pounds of bull right there walking down the Stampede Parade route. But look how chill he is. That's the amazing thing. Well, he's done this a time or two, sure. Doug. Yeah. Old hat. Also attends the Rodeo Challenge in Pinocchio and the Giddy Up Rodeo, Rodeo in Calgary for developmentally challenged children where they can sit on them and get their pictures taken. Always a big hit wherever he goes. And this is the Calgary Tai Chi and Martial Arts College. Uh, they are performing for us this morning. This group won the award for most creative float. In 2018, it was a panda-themed entry, but today the theme is rooted in the Chinese mythological tale of carp jumping over the Dragon Gate. So this, of course, is the uh, 2019 edition of the Calgary Stampede Parade. 100 years ago, the 1919 Victory Stampede. And this marks the 100th anniversary of that, of course. That was at the end of World War I. Uh, Calgarians and Southern Albertans struggled to recover, but their wounds were deep. And 10% of Albertans, 35% of military-aged men fought in the Great War. And of those, 6,100 were killed and another 20,000 came home visibly wounded. So the 1919 Calgary Stampede decided to salute them. And here we are 100 years later celebrating our freedom. And now we've got the show band Mara. This is a show band from Europe. The band has around 40 active members and they perform successfully in Euro European competitions and domestically. They've also appeared at the famous Royal Albert Hall in London. Course, Angela, there's been a bit of a heat wave in uh, Europe this summer, and I would imagine this is a shock to the system for these uh, young people from the Netherlands. Just a little bit. In the 
Guinness World Book uh, record in 1992, they traveled 75 kilometers from the city of Austin to their hometown of Murrum in Northern Holland. Next up, we've got the Canadian Pacific Little General. Uh, this is the Little General wearing a gallon cowboy hat and boots there as well. The Little General is CP's miniature train. It's a scaled quarter size model of the GTAC 4400 <laughs> locomotive. Well, you, you know by that horn that the engine is coming, that's for sure. And of course, uh, CP headquartered right here in Calgary. In fact, we're only about uh, three blocks from their headquarters. And the theme of this year's Calgary Stampede Parade, of course, and the whole 10 days is Women of the West. And this poster uh, was designed by Rebecca Shuttleworth, a young woman who won a contest. And uh, what a terrific poster it's that fantastic. is. Fantastic. And Graham Wardle is standing by with one of the Women of the West. I'm here, I'm here with Melody, and she's part of the Women of the Wild West. So Melody, tell us about how important this is for you to be here today. Well, I'm a native Calgarian, so it's very important for me to be here. I love being in the parade. And uh, this Women of the Wild West, we all represent women from the 18, 1900s who were part of forming the Wild West. I'm Laura Bullion. I ran with Butch Cassie and the Sundance Gang, and Kenneth Gang, and I robbed banks, have my gun. And you know, we all represent women who have contributed something to the Wild West. As we know, it wasn't done by men alone. That's right. That's right, and so fitting that the theme for this year's Calgary Stampede is Women in the Wild West. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Doug, this year the Wildies are celebrating women of rodeo and showcasing that women can be as tough as men in the saddle. When they're, you know, not sashaying down the parade route, they're helping local charities raise awareness and funds for women and children in need. Great group of women. So, so they are... Uh, they are portraying women of the past, uh, the likes of Annie Oakley, Diamond Lil, Catherine Klondike, Kate Bryan, the Bassett sisters, and Cattle Annie. And if you talk about the women of the West, you'll see them every day during the Calgary Stampede Rodeo, $100,000 up for grab at barrel racing. Now we're taking a look at the Penticton Peach Festival afloat. This is the Peach City. The queen is Brooklyn, and the princesses are Sarah and Naya. The 72nd Penticton Peach Festival runs August 7th to the 11th, as it has every year since 1947. They're going to be dancing for the entire two hours. That's how they're staying warm. And as you see on that wider shot uh, up above us, just here by the Marriott, uh, uh, the judges who are judging all of the floats and entries in the parade, they are, as they go by, they're being evaluated. There's a lot of pressure there. That We've got some great floats this morning, lots of good entries. And this year, organizers of the Penticton Peach Festival, excited to showcase what will be taking place in the air as the snowbirds take to the skies, as well as the Skyhawks, Canada's only military parachute demonstration team. That's August 7th to the 11th in Penticton. The 107th Calgary Stampede Parade rolling along nicely, and it continues when we return. We're taking a look at the Calgary Fire Department pipes and drums. The Honor Guard is carrying flags and colors of the Calgary Fire Department and the Firefighters Association. The Guard protects these colors and its members in ceremonial fashion by performing with axes, axes rather, pike poles and swords. The Honor Guard was established in 1971. And following the Honor Guard, the Calgary Fire pipes and drums.
behind the firefighters' pipes and drums, we've got the Calgary Firefighters Antique Group. So this is the Antique Brigade. They're riding a 1926 American LaFrance hose tender. It was originally used to haul hose between the firehouse and the Flame Engulf site in support of the engines and the pumps on scene. It was sold to the Calgary Firefighters in the late 60s, and it's originally as parts for other trucks, but it was soon converted to a showpiece and it was restored by volunteers and firefighters. Welcome back to the Calgary Stampede Parade. There's a look at the Calgary Fire Department pipes and drums marching band and right behind them, the Calgary Firefighters Antique Group, Angela. Yes, and this year there are 10 fire, 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 firefighters participating with the truck. They've, select, they've been selected for their tireless efforts in facilitating dozens of events throughout the year. They all look proud to be on the truck. And behind them, the Calgary Regional Trail Riders. Founded in 1998 and have participated in the Stampede Parade every year since then. These trail riders, which number around 150 in all, uh, are involved in charitable fundraising and volunteering within the community, uh, where they host a variety of clinics and events. Oh, and these guys are always a crowd favorite. We've got the men in kilts. Hooper Scooper. <laughs> of course, we mentioned that there are uh, judges for all of these floats and entries, and some of them are celebrities, and Graham Wardle is standing by with one of them. I'm standing here with Aaron Perchette, and he is going to be one of our celebrity judges for the floats this year. Aaron, what do you look for when you're judging the floats? Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of criteria, but I think the most important is originality and make sure that you're unique and uh, putting on a show. Putting on a show is what we want to see. So uh, do you, have you seen any so far that you like the looks of, or have you not been allowed to look? Well, I was supposed to look at them last night, but with all the rain, uh, we couldn't go to Fort Calgary and check it out. So this is the first time I'm going to see all of these. Awesome. Okay, well, we're looking forward to it. Well, it's a good thing that Aaron has a chance now to check out the Calgary Stetson Show Band. Formed in 1988 as a marching show band for senior high school students, this band proudly represents Calgary, Alberta, Canada with entertaining performances and they dug like so many of our performers travel all around the globe. Here's a look at the Calgary Regional Appaloosa Club. Uh, they are showcasing one of the most recognized and popular horse breeds in North America. Appaloosas are known for their flashy spots and interesting coat patterns, and this breed has been in Canada since the late 1800s when they were brought north of the border by the Napier uh, indigenous peoples who are escaping the Battle of Little Bighorn. The Calgary Regional Appaloosa Club has ridden almost every parade since 1971. For many members participating in this parade has been a family affair stretching back several generations in Angela. That's the great thing about the Calgary Stampede. We're going to see Stan Cowley of Rafter 6 Ranch a little later on. 80th consecutive Stampede Parade. He Not is 18, amazing. 80. He's 83 years old, first parade when he was three. I know, and he loves it. He's got such enthusiasm for it every year. Those horses are absolutely gorgeous. So many horses in this parade. 
hundreds of them, in fact. And uh, as Graham mentioned when he was talking to Aaron Perchette, uh, Port Calgary, that was the staging area. Yes. Just down the road uh, from us to the east. And of course, because of all the rain we've had this week, really muddy. But uh, makes horses it are really challenging. The horses to line don't mind up. it. It's the, it's the two legged people riding them that may have a problem with it. And as you can see in the back, uh, this is entry number 40, and they are being accompanied with the Fan Favorite Award. So obviously the fans love these horses as well. Absolutely. Knock on wood, there's a bit of a wind right now. The uh, temperature about 10 degrees. But uh, so far, the weather is cooperating. Speaking of fan favorites, we've got the Calgary Stampede Chuck Wagons. And coming up next, uh, the Calgary Stampede Chuck Wagons. It's uh, Wagons Ho starting every night at the Calgary Stampede's Rangeland Derby, and Graham Wardle is in one of those Chuck Wagons. Hey, guys, I'm sitting here with Chad Fike. Chad, you're going to be racing this year in the Calgary Stampede, so what's your mental preparation for this? This is a big race. Yeah, no, it's no different than uh, any other competition that we compete at throughout the year, right? You just go out there and, uh, and do your job, and hopefully the horses are doing their job and, and go from there. And what are you looking forward to? Are you uh, you going to win this, or what do you think? Uh, I mean, it's it's everyone's game, right? You, you don't know. There's 10 days of racing, and uh, you know, there's a lot of tough competitors, but uh, horses are working good and feeling good, so we got a good chance. Awesome, Chad. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Chad's being a little modest, but Kurt Benzmiller, uh, the two-time defending champion, he's won four of the last five Rangeland Derbies, and look at the way they're flying down the track. There's Kurt Benzmiller, the two-time defending champion, and, and there's Jason Glass, and we've got more Stampede Racing and Parade when we return. And behind the uh, Calgary Stampede, the Chuck Wagons, is the Westerner Days Fair and X position. And that, of course, is out of Red Deer. And that is a big deal in Red Deer. It's dubbed Central Alberta's largest summer celebration. It runs July 17th through the 21st, and they have everything from live entertainment to nightly pony chuck wagon races. So they're looking forward to that in Red Deer once again this year. And in Angela, one thing about the pony chuck wagons, a lot of the drivers that you'll see at the Rangeland Derby here at the Calgary Stampede cut their teeth on the pony chuck wagons, That's and then right. they graduate to the bigger wagons, and, uh, and they start young, and they just keep on going. You can see some real talent at those pony chuck wagon races. Next up, we're taking a look at the Chien Kuo School Marching Band. Uh, and they are a three-time world champion from Taipei City in Taiwan, uh, founded in 1983. The band currently has 75 members and is led by drum major Ellis Wang. And their resume really speaks for itself. Nine top three placements in the world championships for marching show bands. So they're going to be some tough competition, Doug, at the show band championships this weekend. The Chien Kuo High School Marching Band all the way from Taiwan. They're here joining us uh, on the parade route this morning, and they, of course, will be competing in the World Championships of Show Band Competition this weekend at the South Road.
Angela, three time world champions from Taipei City, Taiwan. And much like the Calgary Stampede Show Band we saw off the top of the show, they have won the coveted Sudler Shield Award presented by the John Philip Sousa Foundation. Uh, Chien Kuo won that award in 2016. They've got 90 top three placements in the World Championship in marching show bands. So, excuse me, nine. They're getting a big wave, of course, from the crowd. They That's are. World Championships of show bands, and that's held every day uh, through the weekend on the steps of the Calgary Stampede Saddle Dome. Uh, Stampede Rodeo Daily across the network on Sportsnet, 3.30 Eastern ET, 1.30 Mountain Time, live streaming on cbcsports.ca. Catch all the action as it begins, 1.30 every afternoon. Pool A getting ready to ride for the next four days at the Calgary Stampede Rodeo. Let's go to Graham Wardle, who has one of the special guests in the Calgary Stampede Parade. Hey, everyone. I'm here with Stan Cowley. Stan, this is your 80th Stampede Parade. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, the, my 80th parade. And it's one of the most fun things you can do is ride in the Calgary Stampede Parade. So how old were you when you had your first Stampede Parade? I was three. I'm now 83. <laughs> That's amazing. You're here with your wife, Gloria, and your daughters, Kateria yeah. and Daisy. My son is ahead and my other son is behind here. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here. All the best. <laughs> Graham, I think you need to get Stan Cowley on uh, Heartland this season. He's done everything else during his 83 years on the planet. Look and how Stan good he looks, looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, and his son David, this is his 40th wow. consecutive appearance in the parade. So they've got quite a tradition going in the Cowley family. Also there, uh, Stan's wife, Gloria, as well as his uh, daughters. And this is uh, celebrating the Stampede Parade with the theme where the West stays alive. Cowley's Rafter 6 Ranch. And the Cowley family riding in an authentic Concord stagecoach. And isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. You know, and as trail riding specialists of the Rockies, they welcome people from all over the world to experience Alberta's Western lifestyle. And they've been doing that for over 44 years, Doug. I think they're carrying some of your fan mail in that. Oh, uh... well, maybe. Well, they've got a plaque up front as well. So that means they won, they won something, something. During, the, during the course of the judging. And well deserved. Stan Cowley, he said, you know, we talked about I've done 25, 26 parades in a row in some form. Rarely, if ever, gotten wet. Stan told uh, one of my colleagues on radio yesterday that he could remember a Stampede parade where there was thunder and lightning and the horses got spooked. So all things considered, pretty calm today. Yes, absolutely calm. The rain's backed off a little bit. Right now, we're taking a look at the uh, Smith built hat. Look at that. That is a beauty. And you know, Smith built hats are right here in Calgary, and they have been providing us with fabulous Western wear for a really long time. Though. 100th anniversary this year that is for Smith built hats. And in 1946, the first white hat was produced and became a symbol of the Calgary Stampede and of the city, of course. Uh, a lot of people have been white-hatted in this city over the years. Have you been white-hatted, Angela? I've actually been white-hatted twice. What? <laughs> it, was an, it was a real honor, and it's so much fun to go through that ceremony. Up next, the War Amp Safe Drive Safe Program. Featuring champ ambassadors, the members of the Child MPT program who pass on the very important safety message to remind children and adults of the possible consequences of unsafe play. And the War Amps have uh, participated in more than 20 Calgary Stampede parades as well. And there's some youngsters on there representing the organization, trying to stay warm, as you can tell. Waving will do that. Behind them, another one of our German entries in the band competition. This is Fanfarenzug Dresden. Forty 
member band has performed in many countries, including the United States, Japan, South Africa, the Netherlands, Spain, Denmark, Austria, as well as throughout Germany. And they are, of course, competing in the World Show Band Championship at the Calgary Stampede. And you can see them on the steps of the Saddle Dome every day. The 107th edition of the Calgary Stampede Parade continues when we return. the Canadian Armed Forces group and it is a large contingent as uh, we celebrate the 2019 the 100th anniversary of the 1919 Victory Parade where members of the Canadian military Welcome back to our coverage of the 117th Calgary or 107th excuse me Calgary Stampede Parade I'm getting a little ahead of myself uh, there's a look at the Canadian Armed Forces Group and it's a large contingent Angela as we are celebrating the 2019 Calgary Stampede 100 years ago it was the 1919 Victory Parade that was staged by the Calgary Stampede and that was a salute to the Canadian Armed Forces after the end of course of uh, the First World War. And it was a way to bring everyone back together, Doug, and create that sense of community. And ever since then, the Calgary Stampede has run every year consecutively after that. Everybody's waving. This is a crowd favorite. All right, let's go to Graham Wardle, who is standing by with a really big special guest. So I'm here on this magnificent tank with Corporal Logan. Logan, what is this tank? Tell us a bit about it. Uh, so what we have here, this is the uh, Leopard 2 main battle tank. Uh, it can shoot up to about four kilometers. Uh, this is what we use every day, uh, Sunday to Sunday. We train on these, and uh, it's a great piece of kit we have here. And you're not driving it right now, are you? I'm not driving. I'm standing in the loader's hole. So my job is to load the main gun, load the machine guns, and uh, hopefully make them work. Okay, and are we going to do a spin, or can we do anything with it? Uh, that is the man to ask right there. <laughs> can we spin this? Yeah, Max Elf. I think we're going to spin it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your service. Thank you for the support. All right, Graham, I, you know what? You stayed on for the full eight seconds, so I'm going to give you a score of 99 for that. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Thanks, guys. 
Oh, there's nothing Get more off. fun than being on those tanks and being able to spin like that. It looks great. There's only one thing that's more fun. It's when they do the 360s with the tread and they chew up the street. You are correct. And uh, you, if you ever go down to the Calgary Stampede grounds, of course, um, the Canadian Armed Forces, they have a bunch of this equipment that you're seeing right now down on the grounds, and you get a chance to check it out firsthand, meet members of the military. They will tell you what they do, um, how they serve great. our country, and the kids love it. Yes, they get to go inside. They get to climb around on the equipment, and they are just so good with everybody. So this is the Western Agricultural Heritage Committee. They're showcasing antique tractors. These vintage tractors are fully restored models, and they're actively used in tractor pulling competitions. And there's a lot of them today. Of course, agriculture, a big part of the Calgary Stampede, part of the exhibition. When you're down on the ground to get an opportunity to meet uh, many of the people who grow and produce our food across the country. And let's hope the growing season is a good one this year. Had a lot of moisture here in southern Alberta. Now all we need is a little heat to get those crops going. I think the tractors are a little newer now, though. I think you are correct, yes. With the technology. So there's a look at the tractors, but the truck wagons are coming up. Saturday night, Calgary Stampede Rangeland Derby and Stampede Wrap. Day two, beginning at 10 Eastern, 8 Mountain. You can see it live streaming as well on cbcsports.ca. We saw the Smith Belt Hats celebrating their 100th anniversary earlier in the show. You're going to get a chance to see host Scott Russell decked out in his brand new Smith Belt hat, and he is looking good. He's got himself a brand new pair of boots as well. The greatest outdoor show on earth is up and running. Oh, this young man, very excited, along with his sister. He is waving madly. Now, just behind the tractors, you can see that we have our next group, which is the Rices del Peru, which is a nonprofit cultural association. They are promoting and spreading the Peruvian culture in Calgary and throughout Alberta. They were founded in July of 2015, and their members are not only Peruvians, but from all Latin America as well as Canada and Europe as well. Look at those costume ducks. They are displaying uh, typical dances from the coast, highlands, and jungles of Peru. And the float represents the Department of Puno with their traditional dance, La Diablada. just checking out some of the colors on that float. So beautiful. That's the Rice Seas del Peru, Roots of Peru. And the Calgary Stampede Parade continues when we return. That's a sun dance. I don't, it seems to be working. At least the rain has held off. Big smiles. Of course, the grandstand show every night down at the grounds as well. The theme this year, Trailblazers, and Gauchos will be part of that Calgary Stampede uh, grandstand show as well. They better crank up the heat on that sun dial that they've got going there.
right behind uh, the representatives from Peru is the Lethbridge and District Exhibition Park. Entering now, executive members of the Lethbridge and District Exhibition Park. Uh, seated our board president, Bruce Gates, first vice president, Bev Lance, CEO Rudy Friesen, and CEO Mike Workington. Lethbridge and District Exhibition, the fourth oldest agriculture society in Alberta. Since the first fair in 1897, it has hosted more than a century of agriculture, trade shows, midways, rodeos, and numerous special events. Are you ready, Emma? Okay, here we go. We're gonna look in the camera, okay? We're we're back here with more coverage from the Calgary Stampede. I'm standing here with Emma. Emma is six years old. Emma, how do you like the Stampede Parade this year? Well, I love horses. I love the trick riding. And the Stampede is great. The Stampede is great. What's your favorite part of the Stampede? Is it the parade or is it going on the rides? It's going on the rides. Going on the rides? What's your favorite ride? The carousel. The carousel. Well, that's awesome. Thank you, Emma, for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the parade. <laughs> Graham, the cue meter oh. just went off the charts. Adorable. <laughs> now, there's a woman of the West in the making right there. I see a co-star on Heartland next season. If they need a child, I think Emma's ready to go. Here's the University of Calgary now. Let your ideas soar. Another one of the fan favorites. Look out. That was the Dash Mesh Cultural Center in front of them as well. Represents traditional Sikh faith and three basic principles to work, meditate, and share. University of Calgary, the dino up front, of course, the mascot for all of the uh, all of the sports teams. This flow to collaboration between the community engagement and creative marketing teams at the University of Calgary took over 400 hours to create. Fortunately, they have an engineering faculty <laughs> that and design as well, so that probably helped. And there's Rex, the university mascot. The sm surrounding smaller balloons are symbolic of the dino's commitment to education, research, community, and impact. And now we're taking a look at the Satina First Nation, which is located just southwest of Calgary. And we're going to go down to Graham on the street. Hi, everyone. I'm standing here with Darlene Starlight. Darlene, how important it is for you to be here today? Very important. It's very important. Oh, yes. Tell us a bit about all your friends behind you here and what it is to be like in the Calgary Stampede. Uh, very tiresome, uh, but it's worth it. But it's worth it. OK, well, we're happy that you're here. Thank you so much. Representing women of the West, that is the theme of the uh, 2019 Calgary Stampede. Well represented. Beautiful Absolutely. float. It is a beautiful float. And you know, the Satina people are known for teaching their young men to hunt for food and then how to prepare it and preserve it to last over the winter. And that is a tradition that they continue today. And once again, as in past years, all of the riders in the wagon and all of the riders on horseback are dressed in traditional garb. Angela, I've had a chance to be down on the street where Graham has been in past years alongside uh, Parade Marshal Amber Marshall, who was back there in 2008, and an opportunity to meet people from around the world come to the greatest outdoor show on earth, and they are enjoying themselves as we take a look at the members of the legislature of Alberta. The government of Alberta through the Alberta Lottery Fund supports a number of stampede programs and facilities, everything from agriculture and tourism to park development. So we have 26 members of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta hailing from Calgary. Big smiles, big waves today. And there's another of our German bands. This is Hedstetter Spiel Manzug Marching Band, founded in 1919, celebrating its centennial as well.
Angela, this band from Germany, from the former East Germany, uh, their greatest international championship was in 2017 when they became World Parade Champions in Palm Springs, California. I would imagine it was a little warmer for that parade than it is today. Ever so slightly, Doug. They were founded in 1919 and they're celebrating their centennial. 100 members in that band. And they won the European Open Championships in 2016 and 17. That's the Calgary Stampede Queens Alumni Group. More women in the West and supporting the theme of the 2019 Calgary Stampede. And this is a diverse and dynamic group of Calgary uh, past Stampede Queens and Princesses representing those crowned between the years of 1946 and 2018. The group of community leaders is committed to providing opportunities and great Western experiences that enrich the lives, particularly of special needs kids. And if you're at the Western Showcase down on the grounds as well, um, you can see a display this year of some of their outfits for the Camp, uh, Calgary Stampede Parade and Princesses, the Queen and Princesses, over the years. The outfits that have been created are really one-of-a-kind works of art, Doug, so it's nice to see them being celebrated that way. Calgary Stampede Parade continues, and just down the road from here, championship show jumping at Spruce Meadows, the ATCO Queen Elizabeth II Cup coming up on Saturday, 4 o'clock Eastern Time, 2 Mountain Time, also live streaming on cbcsports.ca. You'll see some thoroughbreds at uh, the, chuck, uh, the chuck wagon racing here in Calgary, and you will see some fantastic horsepower out at Spruce Meadows as well. Here's the Calgary Falun Dafa Association. This float has received more than 12 awards from top parades across North America. It's modeled after a famous vessel from an era 600 years ago, during which China uh, the most had advanced shipbuilding technologies in the known world. Falun Dafa, also known as Falun Gong, is practiced by millions of people around the world. It provides gentle exercises and character improvement with the aim of improving health and attaining spiritual enlightenment. already I know. just watching this float and so beautiful with the gold and the pink i've been covering the calgary stampede now for more than two decades angela and this contingent gets bigger every year and look at those smiles it takes about two hours to go all the way down the parade route it's about five kilometers long and they're going to smile like that the whole way down. Given that it's about 10 degrees right now, I think those smiles will be frozen on their faces by the end of the parade. We have a bit of a pause in the parade, as you can tell. Uh, the group from the Calgary Falun Dong Dafa group on a hold right now. And let's go down to Graham Mortal, who's standing by with another one of our special guests. I'm here with Sheila Metcalf. This happens to be Amber Marshall's grandmother. Sheila, what's it like watching your granddaughter in the parade today? Awesome, just awesome. I'm so proud of her. And where are you from, Sheila? London, Ontario. London, Ontario. 
And how long did it take you to get here? Oh, half a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the parade. Oh, yeah. Totally. Awesome. Thank you. How great that her grandmother could be That's here fantastic. for this. fantastic. And of course, Amber, uh, you know, now has a ranch here in southern Alberta and uh, started a family herself. I met her when she was just out of her teens working our first Calgary Stampede Parade. That's right. Here's now a look at the Patriots marching band all the way from Minnesota. Patriots marching band from Minnesota with some pretty fancy footwork there. Did we see the drum major with a hockey stick, Doug? Was that what I actually saw? I think they know their audience for sure. Home of the Minnesota Wild and also uh, here in Calgary with the Flames. Sixth appearance in the Calgary Stampede for the Patriots marching band out of Minnesota. They'll be competing in the World Marching Band Championship here in Calgary. Boy, we've seen all those German bands. We've seen the Calgary Stampede Show Band, a five-time world champion. 19 bands in this parade. You know, they, they said they had over 100 bands applied to be wow. in the parade, and they, they actually had put some of them in the pre-parade. Uh, there were just too many bands, which is a lovely position to be in. Oh, here are our friends now from the Alazar Shriners of Southern Alberta. We did a promo with them last year. Angela, we got an opportunity to drive those little cars and the little and airplanes. The oh, so much fun. You know, they have been parading here at the Calgary Stampede since it began in 1912. Now, this is a dedicated group of men who support a network of 22 hospitals for kids throughout North America. And there are currently many patients from Alberta that are being treated at various Shrine hospitals, including the Canadian unit in Montreal. And the Shrine Center for Southern Alberta is located right here in Calgary. Oh, and look, look at these big kids, right? As they're in their uh, custom planes, those things are so much fun. <laughs> They, they didn't trust us with the planes. I no, think they, they gave us the cars. And that was wise, actually, <laughs> that they didn't trust us. <laughs> They're located uh, just in the northwest part of the city where they, they keep a lot of the, uh, the cars and the planes. And, and they, they've got this big shop out there where they, they do maintain all the maintenance. them. They do all the maintenance. We saw Stan Cowley er earlier, his 80th consecutive Calgary Stampede parade and I would imagine a number of these gentlemen have been in it for several years as well. Dedicated definitely. That's more my style. The segue. I see that. That's new for the Shriners. And of course the Shriners as you mentioned many charitable causes. The hospitals of course last year uh, they raised a lot of money for Ryan Strasnitsky the young man that was injured in the humble Broncos crash. He's from Airdrie Alberta just outside of uh, Calgary. And uh, Ryan, uh, I'm pleased to report, doing very well. And, that is good news. And uh, taking a run at trying to qualify for Canada's para hockey team in the future. Just signed a deal with Adidas uh, as a sponsor as well. So Ryan uh, doing very well, continuing to work on his rehabilitation. They're great on those segues. 
Now this is the Alberta Thai Canadian Association. The theme is the centuries old tale of Kanari and Naga. The half-human, half-bird creature known as Kanari is a beloved mythological character which is believed to watch over the well-being of people in times of trouble and danger. And then Naga is a serpent or a snake known to protect people in any situation. Naga has cultural significance in many Southeast and Asian countries. Those creatures uh, together signify the wealth, happiness and strength in people's hearts. Uh, they help protect the world from danger keeping people out of trouble, which you can use during a Calgary stampede, given some of the parties. And that allows the whole world to live joyful and peaceful lives. And uh, the float company by dancers dressed, uh, dressed up in traditional Thai costume dancing to traditional music. And the association is made up of approximately 300 families living in Calgary and surrounding area. Now we're taking a look at the Calgary Arabian Horse Association. They've been part of the Stampede Parade for 20 years, and their theme this year is tradition. The Arabian Horse is the oldest known riding horse in the world. They're renowned for their endurance, their versatility. They have such sweet, gentle personalities. And of course, they are able to bond with humans. Today, these uh, riders are all wearing elaborate costumes, not just the riders, but the horses as well. They've taken hours and hours to create. Some of the costumes feature hand-applied beading, sequins, Swarovski crystals in order to capture the light, and the tassels on the horses' costumes are meant to draw attention as they dance, and you can see that there. So many colorful floats and costumes in the Calgary Stampede Parade. The judges who are located just above us here in our uh, downtown Calgary location across from the tower, they have their work cut out for them in trying to decide some of the winners. I would not want to be in their shoes today. There's the Calgary Police Service's pipe band.
and welcome back to our coverage of the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. Uh, we were a little bit concerned about the weather off the top of the show, Angela, but so far so good as we get into the latter part of this parade. It's been, as I predicted, the rain has held off. It's about 10 degrees down here, but everyone's staying warm by clapping and cheering all of our amazing parade entrance today. So more than uh, 200,000 lining the parade route uh, today, of course, and having a fantastic time. 19 bands. We have, I think, about 1,500 horses this year. There's way more than we thought, that's for sure. And dozens of floats, and of course, the third member of our broadcast crew, Ray Immortal. So I'm standing here with Chantel and her miniature horse. Chantel, can you tell me a little bit about your horse? Um, her name is Jamie. <laughs> Meet kids. And have to be under 34 inches higher, is that correct? Yes. And this one definitely is. Thank you so much, Chantel. All the best. Thanks, Graham. Those oh, horses it? are more my style. There's the Stony Nakoda Nation now coming along the parade route. Another one of our Treaty 7 groups. This is uh, the Bears Paw, Chiniki, and Wesley Nations. Each nation was represented at the Treaty 7 negotiations with the British Crown back in 1877. Featured here in their Calgary Stampede Parade entry are members in two wagons and riding horses dressed in regalia, as you can tell. Uh, most of the approximately 4,000 Stony Dakota Nation members live on the reserves in southwestern Alberta at Morley, Rabbit Lake, Eden Valley, and Bighorn. Uh, the Stony Dakota got the name Stony because they were seen cooking with pots over flat pot rocks. that uh, this parade and the Calgary Stampede taking place on the lands of the Treaty 7. Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Siksika, the Piani, the Kainai, the Satina, the Coda, and the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Now, Doug, we're taking a look at the Calgary Chinese community. Uh, this association was established in 1969, and they have been working to promote Chinese culture in Calgary Chinatown to the Calgary community. The theme of their entry is built the Trans Mountain Pipeline in the Year of the Pig. 2019 is the Year of the Pig in the Chinese Zodiac. laughing and staying warm along the parade route this morning. And of course, Calgary is a wonderful Chinatown that's located just uh, northwest of our broadcast location by the tower in the Center Street area. Chinese Cultural Association, we see the Dragon Dance at many of these events, including the Calgary Stampede Parade. And here's another one of our European bands. This is Van Ferenzug Strausberg, marching and show band. Founded in Strausberg in 1970 as a high school band, it has grown to include children, youth, and adults in the northwestern German city.
right there asking us, Doug, this morning, if we believe in sea monsters. That's Ogo Pogo on the float, originally built in 2010 and then refurbished. Six years later, the float showcases Ogo Pogo swimming in Okanagan Lake, and it also highlights the beaches and green grasses of the area. Also displayed is the city of Kelowna's official flower, which is the sunflower as the backdrop. And riding on the parade float is the current Lady of the Lake ambassador. And of course, Kelowna, the heart of wine country in the Okanagan Valley. And I think I could use a little bit of mulled wine right now. Warm Angela. me up just a little bit. Just a bit. That's Tenaris Canada behind them. That's the Sunrise Stables Wagon, sponsored by Tenaris Canada. Black Percheron is owned by Albert and Laurie Newhook to hold the heavy horse entry. And welcome back to our coverage of the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. Big smiles as the sun's starting to peek through the clouds here over our location. And here's another look at one of the international bands. This is Ostsee Fanfaren Zelin from the German resort town Zelin on the Baltic Sea. That band, uh, founded in 2012, consists of uh, 30 young people, mostly between the ages of 6 and 15 years old. And their mascot is Zeliner, the polar bear, and they consider their appearance here as a major highlight of 2019. We think it's a highlight, too. There's the little general. Little Obi, that's Canadian National. Also celebrating its 100th anniversary. Little Obi travels across North America to help educate kids and their parents about the dangers of playing near railroad tracks. And there's Max, also staying warm. The mascot, layers are good today, for sure. Kids love this. You'll see this down on the Calgary Stampede grounds as well throughout the 10 days. Another one of the fan favorites. Because what kid doesn't like a train? A train. One that's their size. Especially too. that you can get on and run around or sit in it. The great thing about that too is uh, sometimes you get stuck in traffic on your way to the Stampede grounds because of the trains going through Calgary. You wouldn't have to wait long for that one to go by. No, it would clear pretty quickly. That is entry number 86. We have more than 100 entries in the Calgary Stampede Parade. We just a couple of entries pull out because of uh, weather-related issues, but other than that, yeah, always all hard systems to plan go. For. Mm -hmm. But as we're taking a look at the parade route, you can see that people are 10 and 12 deep all along the route. We're a little nervous when we got here this morning, but. Uh, those bleachers were a little empty across from us, but that was the reserved seating, and I think they all showed up at the last minute. Everyone has filled up. We're taking a look now at the, uh, the from Poland, the musical stylings of the Og University Science and Technology Concert Band, created in Krakow in 2001. the Og University of Science and Technology concert band from Krakow, Poland. And Graham standing by with another special guest. 
Hi, I'm here with Sean Kellington. Sean, tell us what this house is about and what's going on. Oh, this house is awesome. It's hand-built by me and my father-in-law, and we're giving it away directly following the stampede. All you got to do is tag us on Instagram at wow1dayyyc. Now, do you have to take a photo of the of the house and then post it, or how does that work? You just, just tag? You got to just take a photo of you enjoying the parade. Wherever you are, no matter where you are in the city or in this country, wherever you are at the parade, tag us enjoying the parade. And so someone's going to win this house. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, you heard it. You got to take a photo of yourself enjoying the parade. Tag WOW, One Day WOW Painting. One Day YYC. On Instagram, and you get a chance to win this house. That's awesome, Sean. Thank you so much. Yeah, Graham, I know, you know the tiny home, for, uh, <laughs> it's all the rage these days, Angela. You can live in that. Absolutely. We'll just dump it in my backyard. It's, an all, it's all in how you make use of that space, Doug. But wouldn't, it, wouldn't any kid be thrilled to have that in their backyard? A nice little deck on there as well. They did a great job building it. Now they were, and they were supposed to begin building that playhouse at the beginning of the route. Now I, I find it, I mean, that must have been like a giant piece of Lego that they snapped together because they've only been out there for about, you know, just over an hour. I think they had to adjust and adapt <laughs> the plan along the route this morning. It's looking good though. I think painting in this weather probably not a great idea. Yeah, I was going to say, good luck painting. Yeah, it would have been running all day yesterday and throughout most of the week as well but it's starting to dry now so that's a good sign and it's all for charity which is wonderful oh good shot of the inside there those flowers are looking a little droopy they could use a bit of don't sun don't say it well, the <laughs> i thought you were going to say they need some rain <laughs> no they've had enough of that and the forecast uh, the forecast showers for the first early part of calgary stampede uh, but right around the day five mark it looks like it's going to warm up uh, for the rest of the stampede, so that's good news. And uh, Saturday looking good for the rodeo and the chuck wagons as well. Yeah, and we're taking a look right now at the Parks Canada Mounted Color Party. They represent the working horses of the Mountain National Parks. Now, the horse's sure-footedness, it's invaluable to allow park wardens and researchers to be able to access to those remote locations without the use or impact of wheeled vehicles. From boundary patrols to collecting images from remote cameras for wildlife research, Parks Canada Equine Family, both human and beast, is at the forefront of protecting the Mountain National Parks. All right, we better keep that beaver away from that playhouse because we want it to make it to the end of the route. We do. Separation. Might be a little hungry. Parka, the mascot. Had a chance to go up to Banff National Park last weekend, Canada Day. Spectacular as always. Another one of our international bands. This is Musikverein Ruhl, founded in 1958 in a village called Ruhl in northwest Germany. There's the uh, Nigerian Canadian Association of Calgary. Yeah, they're proud to showcase our youth, our future. That's their theme, which is the beauty and culture of Africa's most populous country. This is their entry. It depicts Nigeria's coat of arms, which consists of a black shield with two white lines that form a Y shape. And then the shield represents the rich, fertile soil of Nigeria. The two white horses represent strength. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now the white wavy pall represents the Niger and the Benue rivers that divide Nigeria into three parts. On the banner pole around the base is the national motto of Nigeria, which is unity and faith, peace and progress. The Nigerian Canadian Association of Calgary founded in 1983. Of course, we're close to the beginning of the parade, and uh, all of these floats and entries coming through, tons of energy. And One of these days, we should do it from it. the end of the parade, just to get a perspective to see how they're feeling by the time they get through this two hours. Five kilometers in all, that's the parade route. Welcome back to the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. There is your bird's eye view of the parade route from the top of the Calgary Tower. As we're working our way through this uh, parade and we're mentioning that uh, we're at the beginning of the parade, Angela. Yes. So lots of energy from the people <laughs> marching, Calgary Japanese Community Association, uh, but they need to pace themselves because there is a lot going on here over the next two hours. Why don't we head down to the street and see what Graham is getting up to. Graham? Hey, guys, I'm here with Brian with uh, Guns of the Golden West. And Brian's got some pretty sweet tricks he's going to show us right here. You ready, Brian? Graham. Let's see it. Awesome. Whoa! All right. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> hey, Graham, does he have a permit to carry that? Just wondering. You could do that, Doug, couldn't you? No. You got those skills? <laughs> I've uh, I've been taken hostage by the guns of the Golden West. I can see why, yes. <laughs> At the end of Calgary Stampede <laughs> parades. And it's, they said, too many, too many dad jokes and puns. You're coming with us, partner. You are out of there. This is the Calgary Japanese Community Association. Now, this entry is reminiscent of traditional festivals held in Japan today. It incorporates a replica of a traditional Japanese festival card, a traditional Japanese miniature shrine placed at the top. And the dancers that accompany the float are members of a Calgary cultural dance troupe, Yosoka, and members of the Calgary Midnight Ta uh, Taiko Drummers. Now, their costumes are based on historical attire, the kimono, and the incorporated modern adaptations of the hapi, which is the coat, and the yukata, which is a version of the kimono. The entry is a collaboration bridging generations of Japanese Canadians in Calgary. And the Calgary Japanese Community Association has been active in the city since before the Second World War. And behind them, the Red Deer Royals marching show band celebrating their 50th year. The Red Deer Royals are Central Alberta's world-class marching show band. They're competing in the World Championships here at the Calgary Stampede. And those competitions held every day on the steps of the Saddle Dome throughout the weekend. A little bit of a competition going on, going on on the parade route right now as we take a look at the Red Deer Royals. members of the Royals between the ages of 12 and 20. They've developed an award-winning program and they won a gold medal in Holland in 2017.
Right now we're taking a look at the Blackfoot Confederacy made up of four nations. These nations includes, include rather the Northern Bigani, the Siksiga, the Southern uh, Bigani, and the Gainai, or Blood Tribe. The four nations come together to make up what is known as the Blackfoot Confederacy, meaning they have banded together to help one another. As a group, they all speak the same Blackfoot language. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Blackfoot people have been here for over 4,000 years. The nations all have their own separate governments ruled by a head chief, but they regularly come together for religious and social celebrations. Today, the only nation that resides within US ba uh, boundaries in Montana is the Southern Bigani, or Blackfoot Nation. Welcome back to the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade. There's a look from the top of the Calgary Tower as we take a look at the Tree 7 Blackfoot Confederacy. Yes, Doug, the Confederacy is made up of four nations. Now, those nations include the Northern Bigani, the Siksiga, the Southern Bigani, and the Gainai, or Blood Tribe. The four nations all come together to make up what is known as the Blackfoot Confederacy, meaning that they just banded together to help one another. As a group, they all speak the same Blackfoot language, and archaeological evidence suggests that the Blackfoot people have been here for over 4,000 years. Huge crowd enjoying this as we take a look now at another one of our international bands. This is Quetzalcoatl, marching band from Mexico. from Cholula, Mexico. That's the Quetzalcoatl Marching Band, one of 19 bands in the Calgary Stampede Parade this year, all competing in the World Band Championships at the Calgary Stampede. And let's go to Anna Graham, who has some international guests as well. Hi, I'm here with Kiyoka and all of her friends. Kiyoka, where are you guys all from? Japan! They're from Japan! All the way from Japan, and I heard you're heading home tomorrow. Is that true? I, yeah, that's true. Now, you're all international students. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And are you enjoying the stampede? Yeah! OK. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> they are rocking those cowboy hats. Graham, I need you to ask them where I need to eat next where? year for the 2020 Olympic Summer Games in Tokyo. <laughs> need to get some restaurant recommendations. Here's another one of our international awesome. bands. This is the Taipei Thanks. First yeah. Girls yeah. High School yeah. Marching Band. You already took a photo, right? Would you want to do another one all of us together? Let's do that. <laughs> um, can you take 
the girls high school was founded in 1904 and today their marching band this is their first visit to canada doug the school's marching band honor guard and color guard have represented taiwan officially during important occasions for over 60 years currently they have 96 members Three performing units are frequent participants in Taiwan's National Day celebrations. The band has also been invited to take part in events like the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade and the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. And they are entry number 109 and our last band, so they not only are talented, they're very patient. We're coming close to the end of the 107th Calgary Stampede Parade, and it continues when we return. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Calgary Stampede Parade. And in the distance, you can see the Calgary Ethiopian Community Association. There's a much closer look at them right now. Calgary Ethiopian Community Association float displays the natural, historical, and cultural heritage of the East African nation. Highlights the traditional Ethiopian coffee ceremony, clothes from different parts of the country, and musical instruments. And Angel, I could use a cup of hot coffee right about now. It does sound good. Now, the association was established in 1982 with the aim of contributing to social, cultural, and civil life of Calgary while maintaining links to their ancient and rich cultural heritage. Floats on the Calgary Stampede parade route. We've seen dozens of them, dozens of them so far today, along with 19 bands. 1,500 horses. A lot of horses. And, uh, several hundred people as well, along with probably about 200,000 people along the parade route. Impressed to see so many people turning out when we started out, Doug. It was looking a little gloomy, but the rain has held off for the parade as we knew it would. It turned out to be not a bad day. Unfortunately, the way Calgary is designed, you have some of these plus 15s that go over top of uh, the parade route, so you can always hide depending on the weather. 
We've got the Salvation Army Glenmore Temple Band. Formed in 1982, the band supports the Salvation Army's social work in Calgary, and they assist in worship services at the original Calgary Citadel Corps. The 39 members are volunteer musicians from diverse backgrounds such as high school and university students, teachers, engineers, business managers, and retirees. The youngest member is 15 years old and the oldest is 81. Most of us recognize them at Christmas time when they can be seen in many local shopping malls playing carols around the Christmas kettles. And they are under the direction this morning of band director Jeffrey Haskey. a thank you coming up. You know what that means? We're nearing the end. We're coming to the end of the Calgary Stampede Parade. It can be. It feels like we just got started. And of course, uh, we gave our little primer off the top of the program. You see them with their Yahoo. I think they're missing the Yah. Oh, there, oh, it, there is. it is. Oh, who Yah? They've got it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> They might want to figure that out before they hit the end of the parade route in five kilometers or so. They've got some time. <laughs> so there's a look at the 2019 Calgary Stampede Parade honoring our veterans and celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Victory Parade, which took place in 1919. That was to commemorate the end of uh, the First World War when Guy Wiedek, the founder of the Stampede, came back as general manager of the Victory Stampede in 1919. Of course, uh, Wiedek was a showman with a pulse on the times, and he positioned the Stampede as a space for collective celebration. And uh, back in 1919, he also called on Calgarians to hold high the torch. All proceeds from the Stampede that year would go to providing for children who lost their fathers in the Great War through the work of the Salvation Army Great War Veterans Association, which was the precursor to the Legion, and the YMCA. So uh, we are celebrating uh, a number of the veterans, as you see right there, the 1919 Victory Stampede 100 years later. I'm standing here with Rick White, right? And uh, Rick, you had a long history of service. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I uh, served Her Majesty for 38 years, starting in high school and ending when I reached the age of 55 when my brain turns to mush. Anyways, I, um, I was a Cold Warrior. I served in Germany. I served a UN tour in Egypt in 1974 and a tour in Cyprus in 1979. I'm wearing the UN blue because I'm the national president of an organization called the Canadian Association of Veterans and United Nations Peacekeeping. And uh, the people that you see on the wagon and in the wagon in front and here are all members of uh, some peacekeeping organization. For you, those of you who aren't aware, we're here in this parade as the 100th anniversary of the fact that the, the soldiers from World War I were in the parade in 1919. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much for your service, Rick, and everyone else. And I heard Rick say, I've never met a microphone I didn't like. And he handled it <laughs> with style. We'll be back to wrap up our coverage of the Stampede Parade when we return.
everyone too. And welcome back to our coverage of the Calgary Stampede Parade. Smiles all around and people are packing up as the parade comes to a conclusion. Well, Angela, you called it off the top of the show. We're dry. I told you it never rains on the Calgary Stampede Parade. And we lucked out again this morning, held off. It was a little bit chilly, a little bit of a wind, but we still saw lots of smiles along the route. And it warmed up our hearts, and we had 19 bands, some of them from all over the world, spectacular uh, playing of the bands as well. And Graham Wardle, what a great job by you as well, pal. Thank you so much, Doug and Angela. I had a great time out here on the street. Like you guys said, there was no rain. This was perfect. The sun's trying to poke out. I think the Stampede's going to be great this year, and I'm so thrilled to be back doing some, some of this uh, live reporting with you guys. It was a lot of fun for me, so thank you. <laughs> Always great working with you, Graham. Uh, Calgary Stampede, of course, the rodeo coming up. 3.30 Eastern, daily, 1.30 Mountain. You can see that live on Sportsnet and also on cbcsports.ca as uh, the athletes from Pool A roll into action for the four, next four days. Spruce Meadows just down the road as well. If you're looking for a different kind of uh, horse event, there's show jumping, championship show jumping. Spruce Meadows at Co. Queen Elizabeth, two cup, four o'clock Eastern, two o'clock Mountain Time. Also live streaming on cbcsports.ca. Well, Angela, we survived another one, and so did that little buckaroo. Come on, smile. There, <laughs> there you go. go. Right on cue. A little smile for the end of the parade, <laughs> and you know what happens now, Doug. The <laughs> parade committee gets together and plans next year's parade right and away. And we also head down to the Stampede Grounds for those mini donuts. Thanks for watching. Yahoo! Happy Trails. <laughs>